hello guys so today we will be working on numpy and pandas modules of python to perform some visualization okay so what does it mean the visualization is a graphical representation of data and that is shown in the figure so this is the uh, gra graphical representation how the data is flowing that is represented in the graph okay so basically i have taken numpy because i am going to take a random set of values in the uh, for the values and um, for that i need to represent it in the form of numpy as np and for then i have to import seaborn as sns the seaborn is a python library that is used for data visualization and it is used to create variety of visualizations okay like seaborn is having multiple uh, plotting graph of the graphs like scatter plotting histograms heat map pair plots and uh, pair plots so there are so many plotting of methods uh, present in the seaborn so to perform this all plotting of the graphs it is necessary to import seaborn so uh, these are the examples i told the scatter plotting is the plotting of the graph in the representation of dots okay so uh, the dots represents the relationship between the x axis and the y axis similarly histograms the histogram function makes it easy to create histograms and you can modify the charts okay appearance by changing the functions of the parameters whenever the functions uh, are appeared in the uh, parameters that th then the graphs can be modified so that is how the histogram performs operation and when there are the continuous way continuous flowing of the data is present then we have to use histogram plotting and uh, i'll just uh, explain you the plotting of the graph so basically i have taken sns dot set of style is equal to white means the style background which i have in the background of the graph is white that i have to mention as sns dot set style okay i need to set the style in the white format for that i need to mention it similarly i have taken a variable called rs is equal to np dot random dot random state of twenty five. So what does it mean? The random is going to take any number of values out of maximum twenty five values. So this is the maximum value which I have to mention. Out of those twenty five values, it will take randomly values, and it will that is an np that is numpy value, and uh, I need to assign it to rs. Why we have taken np dot random because random module is the function which is present in numpy so we need to mention np dot random dot random state similarly i have taken one more variable called as d that is rs dot normal of size 200 so this is the size 200 where i am going to get total so these are the total values which are present in the graph so 200 of the graphs will be represented in the plotting of the graph so what you have to do maximum at the one block so this is one bar which can have maximum of 25 values but it can also have lesser than that you can just observe here so that values into it will be multiplied by in a random format and it will show total 200 of graphs here so it is not going to be constant in all the values it can change it can vary but at the end of the graphing it should give me total 200 of the uh, blocks okay in the format of bar so yes, for that i have to mention that is rs dot normal size o is equal to 200 then sns dot hit is to plot so which type of plotting we need that we i have to mention that is hist plotting i want so i have mentioned hist plot d the total data which i want to plot that i have to mention here in the method and kd is equal to true kd is nothing but uh, it is a kernel density stream value that is uh, should be made true because that is going to give me the uh, outer layer of graph 
how as it is showing here so that uh, if i make it true then it will be coming uh, it will be showing on the top of the bars okay then color i have to mention because i wanted that graph to be in the red color if i want to change the color i just have to change the name here if i want to represent it in black or blue so if i want to represent it in the color of blue then i have to mention it is in blue b but what if black is presented then you can't mention b only because as it is already stored b in the form of blue then uh, the black is represented in the format of k so whenever you change the color to uh, name to k then it will represented in the black color okay and if you have any confusions you can directly write the complete name as blue b b l u e blue b l a c k black and all you can represent okay similarly i have uh, continued with the scene uh, seaborn module where now i am going to set the style as white and uh, rs is go to np dot random random state of 10 means in each block i can uh, represent maximum of 10 values out of 10 uh, sorry uh, and uh, the total size i want to represent graphs there 100 okay then i want to represent the colors in red green and blue these are the optional values which it can take any value and sns dot dist plot d so the whatever the maximum value i have given that i have to present in the dist plot uh, kde actually dist plot i have above i have used a hist graph where i am going to use at the next point is dist plot actually the latest graphing uh, which is used in the um, like industry the, or the in the actual it is histogram histogram is the older version of uh, uh, histogram but i just wanted to show you how the graphing is done i just used it but uh, in practice you always have to use histogram okay that is hist plotting now d is equal to k uh, uh, this value and kd is that is uh, kernel density estimate value Just some, I'll just explain you what is KDE plotting. Okay, the uh, similarly the KDE plot in Seaborn is the uh, method for visualizing the distribution of observations in the data set. It means there are some distributions given in the values that will be uh, that observations in the data set in the format of histogram. So that visualizing in the the distributions is done by the kde method okay hist is the histogram method true bins are the number of uh, uh, bins these are the bins called so i want total 10 that is i have already mentioned here that bin should be 10 and drug is true and hist no the keyword uh, Key, uh, keyword by statement i want alpha 0 0.3 so you can observe why i have taken alpha here because i want the graph to be transparent i don't want a thick uh, layer of the graphs i just want transparent so that whenever i if i have any text in the behind then it will be visible for that it is required and color i can mention any in the one if it can be either mentioned in the name like rgb or it can be used within the code format also and here i have got an uh, warning okay this is not an error it is a warning you can just observe here user warning because we uh, i have to use a updated plotting that is hist plotting where i have used dist plotting okay if i just remove this dist and i use hist plotting then my warning will be avoided okay but i just wanted to show the dist plotting also so i created this so you can just observe it is showing the same graph method which i had got on the above value okay so similarly you can observe there are the number of bar graphs which are the also called these are the bins which are called and i want the 10 balances okay it can take 10 and but total values i want are 100 okay so it is going to give me 100 blocks of uh, values in the histogram value okay this is how it works 
Similarly, we'll be working on the continuation of the graph that is matplotlib pyplot. So, what is matplot? The matplotlib is a mat, uh, matrix plotting of the libraries of uh, graph which is specially used for representation of the visualization, visualization of the data. Okay. So, I have taken a variable called x and y. In x, I have given set of string values like Sunday, Monday, Friday, Tuesday and all. And in the y statement, I have given 5, 6, 4 like string val uh, integer values I have taken. This includes both the uh, full integer value or float values. Okay. Then axis, the axis is nothing but axis, like uh, x axis, y axis, I have to represent. So, I have mentioned x for that. Then SNS dot strip plotting. So, I am going to take a strip plotting. Why we have to use strip plotting? Because uh, when we are using a scatter plotting, the scatters will be overlapping on the each other. Sometime it uh, occurs when uh, the huge data which is... Uh, having similar representation so when they are representing similar data it will it is obvious that all the scatters will be overlapping each other and it will be very difficult for the user to visualize or understand the graph so for to make a particular size or a particular distance between each and every scatter uh, we have used strip plotting okay you can just observe in the graph uh, access set x label is go to days and y label is go to amount spent so i have uh, taken uh, some x labels and y labels as days and amount spent so plot and title i'm going to give is my first graph okay this is my title i have to mention then plt dot show the plt dot show will show my graph so you can just see here the all the scatters are coming in the proper strips okay this is how the plotting is done. If we don't use strip and we just use scatter plotting, the, all the dots will come in a sequence in from anywhere at any point. To maintain the proper formatting, we use strip uh, plotting. Okay. This is how it works. Now I have taken matplotlib.pyplot as plt input seaborn. So, I have told you Seaborn as SNS. Then set style I want. Before I had taken only white because it was showing me white background. But now I want grid on it. So, what is grid? Grid are the uh, grid lines. Okay. These are the background lines for the graph I want. Similarly, erase SNS load data set. It is. Okay. So, what is Iris? Iris is a data set which I have in my files that I want to load into the Iris method. So, this is basically for the number of data to be plotted in the uh, graph. Okay. So, for that I have just taken a file which was already present in my uh, file that is Iris and it is going to be loaded into the Iris. And now what I am going to do is SNS strip plot. Okay. The strip plots x is equal to spaces, y is equal to sepal length. So, these spaces and sepal length, these are the x and y data which are present in the iris, uh, iris uh, file. Okay. So, then data iris comma color green. So, what in what color I want to represent that I have to mention that is green. So, what I am going to do is I am going to plot the graph. Uh, this is the clear representation than this graphing. Here I have very less data to represent so it is not that effectively understood. So, I have taken one more graph where I have huge data and it is easily understood by the graph. So, here I have taken strip plotting right. So, these are the strips which I am going, uh, these are the values which are of similar data and this is the second strip and this is the stri third strip which is going to represent the data in a proper strip. If I don't use strip and I use only scatter then these all data will be merged with this and these all data will be merged with this and it all will be merged and we won't understand what plotting is done and how the data is distributed in the graph. This is how the 
strip plotting is done and how it is useful to understand and i have mentioned some uh, title for all the values and it is represented and this is the x axis and this is the y axis which where x axis is the independent uh, variable and that is uh, the y is dependent on x and it is going to represent the graph now i have taken numpy as an np module because i am going to take some array of values set of array values import matplotlib.pyplot as plt import seaborn as sns so sns dot set style byte grid x is going to write mac set cp so these are the string values and y is having some set of integer values i'm going to represent box plotting and swarm plotting okay you can just observe here in the seaborn we have different types of uh, plotting of the graph which is very easy to uh, understand by the representation of the graphs it will uh, each and every graph has its unique uh, presentation so i have taken uh, axis for the representation of x axis and y axis and i want uh, the x and y both values to be in the box plotting and uh, sw uh, swarm plotting of y okay so you can just observe here this is my block box plotting it the name itself represents its look it looks like the box of the values where it is going to take set of data and this is the swarm plotting of the graph okay swarm plotting is nothing but it is the one method of scatter plotting so why do we use uh, box plotting so the box plotting is to show the distribution with respect to the categories a box plot shows a distribution of quantitative data in a way that facilitates com comparisons between variables and across the level of categorical variable means it is going to get uh, take me all uh, sorry it is going to show me the distribution of the numerical data values so you can observe here uh, i have taken some values here 10 20 23 and 30 so this all the distributions can be represented in the box plotting and it will also represent the uh, minimum value maximum value just a minute okay minimum and maximum and median first and the third quarter means it is going to show me total five point summary of the entire data the first it is going to give me minimum uh, minimum uh, structure of the data and the maximum structure of the data and this is the median value okay the median value it is going to give and the first and the third quarter values it will be representing it won't show all the, the graphs from zero to hundred so it will go give me uh, the initial point the end point the midpoint and the mean value and the first and the uh, last values it will be representing that this for how the box protein works okay similarly the uh, swarm plotting is used it is the re similar representation as scatter plotting okay now i am going to use a special uh, plotting of the graph that is called joint plot okay so import numpy as np import matplot uh, matplotlib as pyplot as plt import seaborn as sns so everywhere seaborn is necessary to use because i am going to perform the different patterns of seaborn okay the joint plot also is one of the part of a seaborn so i have taken set style as white grid where i wanted to get wanted to represent the graph in white grids okay so i need to mention it white grid then titanic is a variable where i am going to have some variables like a b c d 
and x and y axis i have taken that is roy max z and y is a integer value so what i am going to do is i am going to jo use joint plot so how joint plot works i'll just show you and i'm going to take x and y variables in the joint plot and i'm going to plot the graph so this is how it is represented you can observe here in the middle of the values i have got scatter plotting of the graphs and the joint plot is the point which is going to give it, it is going to take the graphs at the top of the axis and at the right of the axis whenever i call the joint plotting then it will represent the graph in the uh, uh, at the top of the axis and at the right of the axis so it is uh, used when i want to represent multiple graphs in the particular uh, graphing okay so how it is uh, represented in this so for that only i have taken two set of values that is one for titanic that is abcd and other set of values these are called as x and y axis so these are represented here and here we can by default the graph is represented in the scatter plotting but here we can also take kde plotting or uh, heat map plotting or bar plotting any type of plotting we can represent here that is the, uh, a user choice okay then now i am going to take import matplot uh, lab uh, sorry import uh, numpy as np import pandas as pd and import seaborn as sns so what i have done y and z are the two variables where i am going to take set of integers and string values and i am going to take a pandas uh, data frame x comma uh, sorry y comma z why i have taken data frame i'll just explain you at the next point and what i want to do is i want to represent the heat map okay the heat map is the important concept in the uh, seaborn which is most of the time used in the values so what is heat map the heat map are the different uh, representation of uh, graph in the color code okay so you can observe here all the graphs are represented in the different color mapping okay so uh, i have just mentioned this and one more thing i said about the data frame is um, actually whenever i want to represent the data in the frame how the values are represented that i want to understand for that i have to use data frame the term heat map usually refers to uh, this cartesian plot with data visual visualization as colored rectangular tiles so you can observe these are the colored rectangular tiles okay so these are the uh, these looks like tiles i'll just just show in the for the graphing how they look and these are the uh, uh, concept of subject which is representing the actual values which i have represented as y and z and the color coding represents the actual value in this okay uh, now i have taken lesti faced mary sandy and values are like 10 12 13 and 11 so the color is represented first is purple okay then purple represents the point value in between 11 to 11.5 because you can just sh sh see the values here end mid first and last values so this is the mid value which i am showing here that is 13 we can just uh, see the values and uh, understand the coloring of the graph okay so you can just see 10 point 10 is the darkest dark value and what i have value that is 10 that is dark so this is the value then 12 12 is here the 12 value 12 to 12.5 is in between orange to like red orange white in between value for that it is showing me orange color and then 13 so 13 is represented in the color white 
or a cream color it is so it is the mid value of this and 11 it is represented in the purple format that is showing in this color this is how the coloring of the heat map is done similar this is a simple way we will see the uh, multiple uh, values represented in the heat mapping so in the next plotting uh, i just mentioned the d data frame also here uh, as i told in the above uh, graph that is uh, data frame is represented but i have not executed it here and i have done it in the next point i'll just show it okay so here data frame i have used that np dot random dot random of 5 comma 6 so this is the x axis and y axis values that is i want five rows and six columns okay i'll just show you how many rows and columns i have created so total values i wanted that is five rows and six columns and the columns to be represented as a b c d e f okay now i want to reprint the df so when i want to print df i need to mention it print of df so why i use df because i just wanted to read the actual values in the plotting of the graph so uh, how the values are distributed the, because when i am using random the random model will take all the values by default so user won't understand what type of values it is taking to make it un to make it understand how the values are distributed i it is required to use data frame method so it will show me all the values how they are distributed among okay now i have taken set of values that is represented in the data frame you as i have showed you these are the data frame values and it is shown as a b c d e f and these are the values how they are distributed so the same values are given in the plotting so this is how the heat mapping is represented that is pl sns dot heat map of df so whenever the dark points that is showing these all are the uh, lower values 0 0.2 to 0 0.4 it is going to give me all the dark values and 0 0.4 to 0 0.6 it is going to give me the uh, red color and 0 to 8, 6 8 to 8 it is going to give me lighter color that is orange and after that it is going to give me complete light color that is white or cream color so this is how the mid value median value max value first value and last values are represented in the scatter plotting Similarly, I uh, have taken the data frame uh, for the random values. For that, I need to use NumPy and Pandas. NumPy is to because we are going to use random method and uh, Pandas is for uh, I am going to create a data frame. So for that, this is necessary. And heat mapping, at least I have to uh, call with the seaborn but in the previous line we have already called the seaborn method so it is not necessarily used here if we are using at the first time then it is necessarily we have to uh, import the seaborn module then uh, it is the uh, five and six uh, rows i have told you sepai rows that is one two three So these are the six columns 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So these are the six columns and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. These are the rows 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 are the rows and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 are the columns you can observe here. Similarly what I have taken I have taken matrix of values and the, those columns are represented as A, B, C, D, E, F and core matrix D, F dot correlation of the values so it is going to give the correlation coloring of the matrix in this format you can observe so this is how the plotting is done all the lower value uh, sorry smaller values are represented in the light color and the higher values are represented in the dark colors this is how the heat mapping is done Now I have taken NumPy and Pandas uh, uh, imported and matplotlib.pyplot. plot. Why I took my plot, uh, my uh, sorry matplotlib here because I wanted to represent the color barring. So you can uh, 